Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and this is week 46, November 12th through the 18th, and this is a creative planner layout video. I'm using my typical dot grid paper. It's printed on 32 pound paper. I print this myself, and this is A5 or half letter, so I'm going ahead and cutting this paper in half at five and a half by eight and a half inches. And this is just a piece of cardstock that I have laminated to use as a surface to work with inks on. I'm using the Distress Oxide inks, and I'll list the colors that I use in the description box below. But I'm just applying ink to the, pa to the paper. Um, applying ink to this light lighter weight paper is not as simple as it seems so it's hard to get a nice even coat without wrinkling the paper but here i am using a stencil that i have in my stash to just go in and add some interest in the background i didn't want it to just be a plain white background even though i plan to add um, additional ink to it so and here I'm just adding another color and I'm trying to stick with traditional fall colors with this this is an old template from when I was making um, planner templates this is one that didn't cut quite right so I just kind of held on to it hated to throw it in the trash so I'm using it for this And I'm just going in with another color of the oxide ink and hopefully this will define each box I wasn't quite happy with the color but I am going to do a bit of a workaround with this later on in the video you'll see um, I thought it was too much of a pukey pea green <laughs> so I do go back and change the color a little bit and here I'm just repositioning the stencil and adding more ink to define those boxes so as you can see even though I went in with that stencil in the background, it still, it actually becomes background. It doesn't stand out as much, but it still gives a bit of texture and interest to the background so that it's not just so plain. And here I'm adding the green. And the good thing about the oxide inks is you can go over them, but I'm finding, like you can put down one color and then go over with another color. But I'm finding with these inks, well, maybe it's just these colors that I seem to be getting more of a muddied effect. Luckily, um, browns and greens and oranges all are fallish colors. So when I start getting that muddied brown color, it's not too bad. Um, you uh, again, you'll see that as I continue adding color. But if you look down towards the bottom, you'll see it's starting to get a little muddy down there. And I'm looking at the color now and it's like, uh, I'm not sure about this color. <laughs> so I'm going in to try to add more of the green and define the boxes a little more. And here I'm doing even more defining of the boxes, just going around with a very thin uh, black outline. I'm using a tool pen to do that. And I think it's gel ink. Well, I know it's gel ink. <laughs> and then I add a little, I don't know what to call it, a little roughness, a little grunge with the pen around it just so that the boxes aren't super perfect 
um, because it is kind of a more of a grunge look with the Distress Oxide inks, the way that I've laid them down. And so I'm thinking the boxes are standing out from the background now, but I'm still gonna go back in with more of the orange to kind of get rid of some of that green. And this is where I find it really starting to get muddy. So this is the case of doing too much, <laughs> but it did dull down on the green a little bit and didn't look like pea soup so much. I mean, if I was going for a pea soup look, that would be fine, but I wasn't going for pea soup. So yeah, I went back in and added a little more of the orange color. And I do think it did help define the boxes and make them pop out from the background a little bit more. Got a little cramp in my hand from trying to hold the stencil. Um, but finishing up. Finishing up with the orange. And I'm liking the way the boxes look a lot more now. So now I'm gonna go in and add the days of the week. These stamps were actually for hand lettering. I'm not sure how that was supposed to work, but they were meant for hand lettering practice. But when they went on sale at Michael's, I grabbed them because they still make just great clear stamps. So they're not the best quality, but they're pretty decent. So just finishing up, stamping the days of the week. And of course, the ink that I'm using is from Tuesday morning, um, the black ink. I really like that ink. So when I go there, I try to stock up. It's by Ranger. It's called Raven Dye Ink Pad. Um, and now I'm adding the month so that when I look back on this, I'll know when, what time of the year it was. And I probably should start adding the year to these as well. I may start doing that. Here I'm adding the dates to the days. I'm using the Mambi stamps, the date stamps. I think these will be, the stamps are with the memory planning supplies. And I have a little issue with the solid um, background sometimes and I just take a pen and go in and fill in where um, it doesn't stamp clearly you see that I did that I think on Friday and Sunday but for the most part they stamp really nice this is the leftovers from a die cut uh, Sizzix die cut that I ran through my machine and used on another spread that you will see soon. But this was just the leftover chipboard. So I'm using that as a bit of a stencil to go in and add some hints of leaves to the spread because I just thought it was just too dull and plain. It needed something else. So I thought the leaves or the hint of leaves in some of the boxes would give it a little extra oomph. So 
So again, I like the way that you can kind of go over other colors with the Distress Oxide inks. Even though if you do too much, it will get muddy. So now I'm going in to add my lines to the days of the week for my lists or to do's. And I'm, I use this large stamp because it took up the width of the boxes, but I don't really like this um, stamp. I think the circles are entirely too big, but they do, it does fill up the boxes nicely. And I'm not sure where I got that stamp. I'm using a Paper Mate Flare because I think the um, fine point gel pen would not show up well enough since this background is a little bit darker. And I'm just going in and putting in my usual weekly things like laundry, setting out the trash, setting out the recycling, and my post office box run. I need to place an order on Tuesday. And I can't forget to watch Midnight Texas on Friday and Charmed on Sunday. These are actually the first two shows that I've actually watched on regular TV since Scandal. So at one point, Scandal was the only primetime type show that I would watch. So don't want to forget Midnight Texas and Charmed. Now I'm just trying to remember what else I need to do for the week. And of course on Fridays I pay bills. Thursdays I go grocery shopping. And I'm just doing the downstrokes on groceries just to help that stand out a little bit from the background. And of course, Wednesday's payday. And these are my stickers. These um, messy bun getting it done stickers are from JD and Brooklyn. And I'll leave a code in the description box if you're interested in those. And I'm also using the Squad Goals book from the Happy Planner because it has a really nice seasonal section and I wanted to use some of the fall stickers. And I kind of just go through and pick out a few leaves to add accents throughout the spread. Nothing too... Um, and then, of course, I add the girls because they're cute and fallish. <laughs> and they kind of actually blend in with the color scheme. They don't stand out too much, which was nice. And I'm going in and adding a little more decor with leaves. And here I'm going to go in and add my ballet stickers. I wasn't really sure about these since they're, um, the words are outlined in white, but it doesn't, since there is a little white peeking through in the spread, I think it kind of balances it out. And here I'm just adding a few more pieces of decor. Just to kind of tie it all in together. There's a little pumpkin. And here I'm just taking one of the long um, decor pieces and cutting it so that I can spread it out over several boxes. And that is it. I'm gonna go in and kind of frame the spread with the black ink, distress ink, 
Um, I think this is where I went extremely too far. I should have quit while I was ahead, but I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it did frame it out a little bit, but it did take away from what little lightness was left on the spread, but it's okay. It did give it more of that grunge feel though. So here, I'm getting ready to punch the holes. I need to find my center so I can line it up. Get it punched and ready to go into my clear planner. And there you have it. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.